It's time now for Voices of the Region when we hear from an area journalist about stories in the news. Our guest this week is Danielle Kading, a reporter with Wisconsin Public Radio. Wednesday this week, more than half of Wisconsin was under an air quality alert for sensitive groups due to smoke from Canadian wildfires. And in Wisconsin, that marked the fifth such advisory this year. And of course, Minnesota also had issued an air quality alert. Um, but in Wisconsin, that alert comes as the state has seen a more active spring for fine particle pollution in more than a decade. And it sparked questions about the role that climate change is playing um, in these wildfires. The Wisconsin Department of Natural Resources says they can't rule out climate change as one potential driving factor um, because as you see these hot, dry conditions happening and that creeps earlier into the spring, the chances for having these incidences of wildfires and, and, and smoke um, coming down into the region also increases. And in other news in northern Wisconsin, the Department of Public Instruction recently released its preliminary findings that a northern Wisconsin school district isn't meeting state standards for teaching about cultural diversity in Wisconsin tribes. And the department began investigating the Mellon School District in Ashland County last summer after a community member filed a complaint. The state's initial findings say that Mellon didn't provide enough evidence of adequate teaching materials or library services on cultural diversity in American society for grades K through 12. And the state found that Mellon's teachings on Wisconsin tribes were also lacking. But the district superintendent uh, Rhonda Elmhorst Fremont disputes those findings. She says several of the lesson plans and resources taught in the schools were specific to Wisconsin tribes. And she says the agency she feels like is overreaching in its interpretation of state standards. And the department says um, that some of those lessons that she referred to weren't part of the social studies curriculum, and that's required by state law. And it, uh, the state also said that Mellon didn't meet requirements to teach about Wisconsin tribes uh, at least twice before high school. Mellon resident Nick Vanderpai, who filed this complaint last year, said he's pleased with the department's findings. Uh, he said he filed the complaint um, after some tense meetings on critical race theory that led to the school board barring teaching of that in classrooms. And the district superintendent said that they think that equity and diversity can be taught generally without being associated with race, sexual orientation, and gender identity. And she said that the school board and the community want to teach students about racism and indigenous groups, but they want it to be taught in a context of history and not from a place that she said uh, makes students feel bad about being white. The state has issued recommendations for Mellon uh, to meet these state standards on teaching cultural diversity and was about Wisconsin tribes. And the school board has the right to appeal the state's findings, um, but the district superintendent has indicated that her recommendation would be for them to develop a plan of compliance moving forward. Another item that's related to Wisconsin tribes, Northern Wisconsin counties have passed resolutions that are asking for state legislation or aid to help local governments that are seeing a loss of tax revenue. And that loss of revenue stems from a federal appeals court ruling last year that found the state can't force Northern Wisconsin tribes or their members to pay taxes on properties they own within reservation lands. Uh, the ruling is a victory for tribal sovereignty, but it also means that fewer residents in towns that were affected by this ruling are paying property taxes. And as a result of the ruling, Ashland County and four other counties in Northern Wisconsin expect that they'll collect 
$1.8 million less in tax revenue over the next two years. And so Bayfield and Ashland counties are among those who have passed resolutions asking the state to step up and help because they say this is an issue that was created by the state and federal government. Thank you.